Welcome to Love Always Self. I'm Shira. Hi, y'all. I'm Karista, and thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Love Always Self. First off, happy holidays, everyone. We oh, are awesome. in that season. <laughs> December. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Thanksgiving has just passed. We are filled with gratitude and hopefully you've had that opportunity to really consider all the amazing things that are in your life and be grateful for them. Mm -hmm. And remember that, you know, sometimes it takes just a shift in what we're looking at to see all the wonderful things that are in our lives. Yes, indeed. I know that I was very grateful for being able to see um, and, and just even having the opportunity to see my family and just share a ton of stories. And, you know, there's uh, those that are like elderly in my family that, you know, it just get, seeing the smiles on their faces was the best. And I try to hold that thought process, you know, going into the holidays because, you know, frankly, to me. Um, holidays can become very, uh, whew, tense. Uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of expectations on things to do, people to see gifts to buy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you did air quotes on that, but yeah, we got to buy gifts. <laughs> <laughs> it can be overwhelming and it can be difficult, uh, to, start all that shopping. And so that's actually something that we really wanted to talk about today is this whole idea of gift giving and reminding you that there are other ways to give without necessarily doing so monetarily or materialistically. Uh, while it is nice and it is fun to open presents, I'm not saying don't buy them. <laughs> I'm just saying there's also alternatives to consider as well. So I know like growing up, uh, I I think this was, you know, something that I experienced. My parents, you know, wanted to provide everything to me that I wanted and, you know, not saying I was spoiled or anything, but I remember hearing about generations preparing themselves to be able to provide, mm. uh, what they did not receive as a young child. So basically just not wanting their children's to want for anything. And I think that's a very, uh, precious goal and, you know, that, that may have bre breeded a little entitlement, um, uh, <laughs> in response to that, but hopefully, you know, not, not too much. Hopefully we're still able to, you know, give from our heart rather than giving to receive. Mm. Yeah. And that's, that's one of my, um, my biggest things during the holidays is that I personally would prefer that there wasn't this, you know, driven need for the monetary gifts, right? Like, you know, I always get worried that, oh, you know, if I, if I get this gift or, you know, especially like growing up, you know, I, I, I had to, you know, really consider like where the money was going to be spent. Um, mm -hmm. and then I would feel bad or something, you know, like if I couldn't give somebody else a gift because I didn't have the financial means to do that, or are they going to like the gift that I give them, you know, or is it enough? Is it enough? Are they going to feel appreciated? Or am I going to feel appreciated? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, because we, we go through our lives and we, and we, we work really hard to be able to provide these types of things, you know, and, and yes, there are some people that have done all the things in life that have driven them to the point of success where they don't have to worry about that. Right. But, you know, a majority of us, we do, we do have to worry about that. We have to set a budget. We have to plan. We have to take a lot of time to plan. Um, and, and when we do these types of things, you know, um, are we expecting to receive that in return? Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. a huge, you know, that's a huge part of, um, you know, the holidays that, and, and this doesn't even just apply to holidays. This can apply for birthdays, um, you know, or different types of events that require a gift. Um, you know, are, am I going to get the same thing back mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. that I gave, you know, or the amount of effort that I put into it is going to, is that going to be received back? You know, are we thinking on the right terms mm. by doing that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think that's, that's, gosh, that's a hard hitting like statement. Are we thinking on the right terms? So again, are we giving to receive? Are we giving because there's this expectation? Are we giving out of fear of not being good enough mm. or providing enough? Um, and really 
the gift of giving is about that. It's about giving to others and not expecting anything in return, yeah. but other than just joy and yeah. love and connection. It's interesting to me because, you know, there, I would definitely say in previous years from my personal experience that, you know, and I even think I thought about this recently going into, you know, the month of December and, and being like, okay, I need to, I need to go, you know, find a gift for this person or a gift for this person. And, you know, mm, if I give this person a gift, am I even going to get one in return? You know, like, I mean, those thoughts creep in there because we've been conditioned all these years with the way the holidays have normally mm -hmm. been approached, that it is something monetary, that you it have to have this more physical. transactional, yeah. transactional, right. And you have to have this like physical element to show somebody you care, right? And it's unfortunate because it feels like that drives like this um, resentment wedge a little yeah. bit yeah. and that's, that's so unfortunate because that's the opposite of what, what giving is about. Mm -hmm. It's, oh. you know, again, connecting and bringing people closer, not dividing and, you know, making people feel bad or, you know, I'm going to go back to the finances, like with inflation, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. And there's, there's a part of me that almost prepares myself to, you know, go into a little bit of debt during the holidays. And that is stressful beyond the wow. holidays. And so that, that should not be the expectation that we go beyond our means to give tangible items to other people. Yeah. So, and, and speaking of heart centered giving, we've come up with some other ideas Mm. of things that you can do during the holidays, spending time together, uh, to give your time and your love and your energy without necessarily having to spend a lot. Right. So, you know, the, the holiday season should be more about giving to those that need. Yeah. Right. And yeah. there are so many people that are underserved and uh, not able to meet their own day-to-day -day needs. And just being able to, you know, join something like Blue Santa, where you go pick up gifts and deliver them to the families. You don't have to, you know, like buy a bunch of gifts or pay for all the food for a family. You just pick them up and take them and deliver them. You can go, you know, uh, spend time at the animal shelter, yeah. loving on, you know, little fur babes that oh. don't have a home. Well, that'll make me cry quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you know, write Christmas cards to seniors that live in assisted That's living facilities. One. That's a making favorite. Making blankets for homeless, making blankets for, for preemie babies. Mm. There are so many different volunteer opportunities that you can do as a family going to a soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, volunteermatch.org is actually a great website that I've used for a little over a decade uh, to help vo find volunteer opportunities. And we'll link that in the description. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I love those. I think of other, um, some of my favorite gifts uh, and for those of my friends and family listening to this episode, be prepared for those. Um, but some of my favorite gifts to give, um, and it's not even, I don't even consider it a gift. I, I, you know, cause the word gift itself kind of has this like connotation, of connotation, yeah. right. Of exchange. Right. And so, uh, for me, I want to spend time with the people that I love, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether I'm hosting a few, you know, drinks at the house and sit around a fire pit moment or, you know, I, or I come over and we make a meal together, you know, or, or any of those types of quality time moments, you know, mm -hmm. maybe we have take a game that you already have in your house or create one, which there's tons of free options online and you can print those out or whatever. Right. Um, you know, and, and have a game night, you know, mm -hmm. just enjoy spending those moments, uh, you know, you get so much more in that heart filled center space, in my opinion, 
Um, now granted, I still like the unwrapping part as yes, a kid. Yes. I've always loved this, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, but still, um, you know, those are types of, uh, types of events that I find more valuable than mm-hmm. the gift itself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, do somebody a favor, you know, like not a favor that you expect to have a favor done back in return, mm-hmm. but say somebody, you know, needs a trip to the grocery store and you can do that for them. Um, or, you know, uh, have, have your kid go mow somebody's lawn. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're in an area where it snows a lot and you have somebody elderly on your street, um, or somebody that, you know, is physically unable to go in and, pl- you know, plow the, or snow plow or shovel we, the we don't have paveway snow, or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do that Actually, thing. <laughs> during our snow apocalypse that we had here in Texas, um, you know, my husband knew of several knows of several of the neighbors that couldn't go out and do this on their own. And he just mm. didn't even ask. He just went down the our street and started, you know, shoveling snow out of their driveway and sidewalks. And again, I that giving beautiful. without expectation. Right. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Uh um, Oh, I forgot to mention one of them. I really, this one's like a favorite of mine, the angel tree. Okay. I haven't been to a mall in a while, but the (laughs) angel trees at the mall for Salvation Army, I think that's who hosts it. Go and pick an angel off the tree, a child and buy gifts for them. And you can drop them back off at, you know, their, their donation site right there at the mall. That's cool. A while. I was going to say, I was like, that still exists, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I actually really like that one. Um, oh, and then don't they have like a, a make, uh, is that build a bear? Am I thinking of build a bear? I think build a bear does a, a thing during the holidays where you can do those for Maybe. kids in hospitals. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. That's yeah. neat. I feel like I, I did that. Like, uh, it was probably, I mm, was like oh, a few years ago, but still I, I remember that. And I was like, oh, you know, like, cause there are so many people that don't have the luxury of being able to go and do all the things that these festivities incur during these times. And that can mm-hmm. make people feel really, really sad and separated and alone. Um, and something so, you know, low key and casual as, you know, donating to those individuals or spending time with those individuals, um, I know people that have dressed up like Santa and, you know, are little elves and went, you know, through the hospitals and things of that nature, went to hospice centers, you know, that that's really cool. So those are options too. There's a lot of weight and, and beauty in the gift of bringing joy. Agreed. Absolutely. And sharing in joy. And just like all the community connections, again, you know, we've mentioned this before, like when we start doing you know, uh, promoting positivity and joy and connection that goes way beyond just you. And so doing just small, small things to us, maybe big things to other people. Yeah. Huge. I know that, um, when I did the, the food drive during the holidays, um, this is a while back, but I haven't done that in a minute and I should, um, but when I did that and we would go and deliver boxes to, to families' homes during the holidays so they can make holiday meals and things mm-hmm. and, and just the overwhelming amount of, you know, tears of joy yeah. from receiving that was, was so heartfelt, you know, that gift Talk of about gratitude. Yeah. yeah. Like- oh man. Yeah. Th- those are the best. Um, and, and it doesn't take much to do something like that. It doesn't take much to, you know, a lot of us have time off from our jobs during these holidays. And so you just take a couple hours out of an, an day, out of a day to do something mm-hmm. like that for somebody. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and I think it's also awesome. important to show that to, you know, the next generation as well, the, yeah. the beauty in giving from the heart yeah, without expectation to receive something in return. And how much light are you truly spreading Mm-hmm. you know, just by, by touching somebody in that way, like, and, and, and even yourself, like just growing within from that alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Absolutely. 
Alrighty. So this holiday season, I hope that, you know, you enjoy the shopping and you enjoy the unwrapping of the gifts, but I also hope that you enjoy time and uh, the connections that you make and find something else to do outside of the materialistic uh, gifting. Absolutely. Feel that beautiful, bold mm-hmm. heart of yours. <laughs> And if you are looking for any gifts for the spiritually curious, you can check out our website at lovealwaysself.com. We have our Amazon favorites for uh, our spiritual growers. So check those out. And anything else, love bug? Um, just, you know, that, that wonderful thing that we got to throw in at the end or middle or first (laughs) of our videos. If you find this content helpful, please don't forget to like, uh, subscribe or follow, uh, leave a comment down below, leave a review. If you're listening to us on, um, any of the podcast platforms that actually really does help us grow and helps us spread the gift of message. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to, to, to those around you um and feel free to share you can always take one of the uh, clips from our youtube episode and share that on your social media mm-hmm. so i would love it too if anybody goes out and volunteers or does something outside of their normal traditional mm-hmm. gift giving i would love it if they tagged us so that we could you know just see how you're promoting love and joy yeah. in your community absolutely Yeah. So thank you all for the gift of listening. Um, We appreciate it so much. Can we throw gift in how many more times? (laughs) A ton. Go ahead, algorithm. Pick this up. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Oh, happy holidays to each of you. Uh, We love you so much. And don't forget to love first, love last, and love always. Y'all have a great day. (laughs) Bye. Hey, listener, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us in this moment. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we look forward to our next connection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow to stay notified of new content from Love Always Self. If you have any questions or topics you'd like for us to discuss, please hit us up on any of our social media platforms linked in the show notes below. I'm Karista. And I'm Shira. And until next time, remember to love first, love last, and love always. Love Always Self podcast is meant for entertainment purposes only. We do not make any warranties about the completeness, reliability, and accuracy of the information presented in this podcast. Any action you choose to take upon the information in this podcast is strictly done so at your own risk, and we will not be held liable for any losses and damages in connection with the use of our podcast. Any and all medical concerns should be addressed with a licensed healthcare provider, as well as any questions that may be derived from the information discussed in this podcast.